today we will discuss about the encoding of turing machine a turing machine represented by the seven couple q sigma gamma delta q1 that is initial state v is a blank and f is a state of final states as a binary string assigning the integer to the states state symbols and the direction left and right a code of the entire turing machine m is consist of all the codes for the transition function in order to separate by the pair of ones like c1 one pair of one c2 and the represented in the example so in the next slide where the turing machines m where the q is q1 q2 and q3 the input symbol 0 comma 1 and the tape symbol 0 comma 1 comma blank and delta is the transition function the q1 is the initial state and this one is blank and q2 is a state of final states now now this one is blank okay now where the transition function delta q1 comma 1 is equal to q3 comma 0 comma right delta q3 comma 0 is equal to q1 comma 1 comma r delta q3 comma 1 is equal to q2 comma 0 comma r and delta q3 comma blank is equal to q3 comma 1 comma l so this transition function is represented by in binary symbol a binary strings okay what is what can you uh, what is the q1 so in this q1 so q1 can be represented by 0 q2 is represented by q00 and q3 is represented by 000 similarly in 0 comma 1 that is input symbol is represented by 0 1 is represented by 0 0 similarly the tape symbol 0 comma 1 comma blank is represented by 0 is represented by 0 0 1 is represented by 0 0 and blank is represented by 0 0 0 so here the code is delta q1 so q1 is 0 so it will be separated by 1 so 1 1 is represented by 0 0 it will separate by 1 and the q3 is 0 0 0 so it will separate by 1 and 0 is 0 and the right is 0 0 so it, will, it is a code c1 similarly in case of second transition function q3 is 0 0 0 separated by 1 0 is 0 q1 is 0 and 1 is 0 0 and right side is 0 0 in case of delta q3 comma 1 so q3 is 0 0 0 1 is 0 0 q2 is 0 0 and 0 is 0 and r is 0 0 similarly the last transition function q3 comma blank so 0 0 0 blank for 0 0 0 q3 for 0 0 0 1 is 0 0 and left is 0 and the, all the codes are separated by the pair of ones likewise okay so that is the that is only the encoding of the turing machines okay right any problem so now we have to learn what is the diagonalization language so the diagonalization language that is not accepted by the turing machine this proves that the diagonalization language is not required to be invariable so the definitions of the diagonalization language is l of f sub d where the w is not accepted by the turing machine okay now what is the universal language that is l sub u and we have seen one language that is diagonalization language that is not accepted by the turing machine and this proves that the diagonalization language is not recursively invariable and we see now define a language l sub u is a universal language that can be accepted by the turing machine but is still undecidable so the l of sub u is a recursively invariable but not recursive 
So the record should be enumerable and record says I already discussed in my previous video. So L sub U is a set of binary strings that consist of the encoded pair M comma W such that M is an encoded of Turing machine and W is the encoding of a binary input string accepted by the Turing machine. So the formal definitions L sub U is encoded M comma W where M is a encoding of Turing machines and W is a encoding of binary strings accepted by the Turing machine. Okay. So now what is the rice theorem? The rice theorem states that any non-trivial symmetric properties of the language which is recognized by the Turing machines is undecidable. And the property of P is the language all the Turing machines that satisfy the property. If P is a non-trivial property and the language is holding the property, so the L sub P is recognized by the Turing machines M. So L sub P is input where the language accepted by M is belongs to the property is undecidable. So now what is the property of language is P is simply a set of language if the language to L belongs to P is said to be that L satisfy the property P. A property is called a trivial if either it is, it is not satisfied by any recursive enumerable language or it is satisfied by all recursive enumerable language. A non-trivial property is satisfied by the some recursive enumerable language and not satisfied by other. So the property one, there exists a Turing machine M1 and M2 that recognize the same language. So the M1 input M1 and M2 belongs to the L or the input M1 and M2 is not belongs to the L. So the property two, that is there exists a Turing machines M1 and M2 where M1 is recognized the language while M2 does not. So M1 belongs to L and M2 is not belongs to L. Now, what is the post correspondence problem? The post correspondence problem is introduced by the ME post in 1946. It is undecidable position problem. The PCP, what is the post correspondence problem over the alphabet sigma is states below. So it will give that the giving the following list M and N a non empty string over sigma M is x1, x2, 3, x3 dot xn and n is y1, y2, y3 dot yn. We can see that there is a post correspondence solution if the port i1 to ik where 1 less than equal to i sub j less than equal to n, the conditions of x i1 to x i k is equal to y i1 to y k is satisfied. So now I have given an example where M1, M is A, B, B, comma, A, 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 and N is B, B, A, 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 A. The post corresponding solution is X2, that is, that is X2, that is X2 is A, 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 x1 is sorry x2 is a this one and x2 is a b b and this x3 is a a similarly the y2 is 3 a b b a and a a so we can see that the solution is x2 x1 x3 is equal to y2 y1 y3 where the i is equal to 2 j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 3, right? In the next slide, what is the example of that is m is a b comma b a b and b b a a a and where the m is a b a b a b have a post corresponding solution. So here if you see that x2 is a b a b and y2 is a b a and x1 if you say x1 so b a a b if you consider the b a a 
So C if you consider x2 x1 that is b a b x1 so a b x3 that is b b a a a and the y2 that is b a y1 that is a and y3 that is b a b so the length so the length are not same and it can be said that the post corresponding solution because if you see the length are not same and the post corresponding solutions uh, problem is undecidable okay okay so if you have any query then you can mail me and you can contact in my phone number thank you